Igor, it's great to meet you, my man. Nice to meet you, Darren. Thanks for inviting me. If、uh, people didn't know, it looks like I'm I'm talking to someone who's in a in a windowless jail cell, in some unknown location. <laughs> This is an incredible point of view. Like, isn't it amazing how video can do this to people? You've got、yeah. this background. <laughs> That's it. <insane. laughs> I'm just looking for like the word of like proof of life. Like you exist. <laughs> do you get yeah, that a sorry, lot yeah, with yeah, your yeah, background? Yeah. Do you get that a lot with your background? This is a actual actual room.、Oh, <laughs> incredible! Oh my god! It's it's it, the background's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. <laughs> Um, so great! It's so great to meet you. So, Igor, we have a lot to talk about, and I and as people that listen to our show, I think what we always want to start with is how the heck did you get out of bed? You know, these past few months have just been brutal. Now we're going on months, right? It's it's over a year. Yeah. Some people are not going back to work till to next year. It's it, into an office. So, how have you got out of bed?、Mm-hmm. That's a good point, and it started. Many years back, even before a pandemic, because in any case, you have to get out of the bed. And actually, it、right. started when I started doing consultancy. Before I was doing for five years, and、uh, I was when you do consultancy, you're on a project,、uh, so you can work whatever schedule you want, okay, whatever place you want. Obviously, software development doesn't matter where you work. Okay, and I tried everything. I even tried, you know, this、uh, Da Vinci style of sleeping, like three hours of active work, fifteen minutes of sleeping, and it's completely <laughs> destroyed my. <laughs> so、uh, it didn't work. Okay, so I was like,、uh, at some point, my wife was saying, "Eager, go to sleep because you understand、right. fucking nothing <laughs> what I'm saying to you." <laughs> right. <laughs> so. Ten, fifteen years back, I started cycling、uh, okay. instead of vacationing, normal vacationing, like、uh, going doing nothing. And I started cycling, and and I found one implication of that was actually I realized that I back with the sun. My my cycle after two weeks of cycling,、uh, I realized I wake up at six a.m. like like a, like a switch. Okay, my eyes open exactly at the at, at the sunrise. Okay. And my my eyes close at the sunset. Okay, I recover this natural rhythm. That obviously, when you get back at home and、uh, office, it degrades.、Uh, and I continue doing it、uh, every year. Okay, I, I just few 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 weeks ago, I get back from、uh, from my trip in Italy.、Uh, it was really nice. And,、uh, yeah, I, I, obviously, I'm sleeping completely. I don't take hotels. I、right? I sleep outside. Uh, uh, so, well, well, there's, and, there, there, there's a few things there, Igor. There's there's a few things. One, yeah, sleep is in, and this is just what I've been noticing, right? Yeah, sleep is important. Crucial decisions need to be done with rest. But now,、yeah. what I'm also hearing and reading is that professional athletes. Are now focused on sleep. So, if you think、yeah. about professional athletes, it first was exercise, that was important,、right. and it was diet、right. and nutrition. Correct. Now, all the the top athletes are really put on sleep schedules. So, it's just an interesting place you and I are going on this conversation. Right. You know, like you, like Da Vinci went his way, but we all agree we need sleep. How do we do it? The amount and when. But now, at the、mm-hmm. most. You know the greatest athletes in the world are now focusing on sleep. Absolutely, I do track for seven years now my sleep quality every day, and I I use it as an as a metric. Okay. You know where? Okay, I I do say come from scientific background, so、uh, we always need some metric <laughs> to optimize on. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry that that may be my bias,、uh, but okay. And sleep quality is a Pretty good metric, I would tell you. So, whenever I see I hit this ninety plus percent of quality of sleep, how to say I don't have excuses. Like, yes, I I had a good sleep. Now I have to be productive. <laughs> you know, right? Yeah, because without the metric, you kind of、mm-hmm. maybe I'm feeling bad or something like that. You know. <laughs> well, I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna bring this up a level. 
yeah. to something you just said. Now we sleep, we're rested. And then I've spent time understanding my calendar of my peak performance times, my critical thinking times. And I've blocked my date, you know, my awake hours, if you will. It's not daylight, yeah. it could be dark. So let's just call it my awake hours. And I've, through COVID, I've done, you know, a lot of self-reflection and, and, mm -hmm. and thinking. And now I believe I know when my critical time is to get the noise of work done and then the research thinking and then the reflective right. thinking and, and just other stuff. What have you noticed also now in your awake hours during COVID? Have you rethought, again, you've been a consultant, so you've known what it's like to work remotely. remotely. You understand sleep yeah. now. How has, you know, COVID changed the way you actually spend your daytime? your day your your wake hours if maybe, you will maybe i'm uh, even uh, i'm a, an outlier in this i think in the last year my performance had improved okay so i totally became same. yeah the same i i just went back a few hours ago i went back from running and i took a took a swim and a sleep okay so and that what actually uh uh i have a pretty strange uh, schedule because I'm working a lot with the US uh, time zone. So right now I'm having, I've started having a lot of calls. So I'm very free in the mornings. So Got I it. can do walking. I, I really do walking. I do, in a, I go in the park, I see, and actually I'm thinking about work. So in my, in my position of manager, it doesn't matter whether I stay in front of a computer. I have to go make a good, high quality decisions. That's my work, okay? And uh, I realized when I go outside and I like switch off, it's, it may seem like I, I, I'm like uh, detached from the work, but actually, you know, something is on the background, is working. And when I, when I get back in front of the computer, my fingers just type those decisions and they're the best quality. I'm so glad you said that because I don't feel as lonely because I have the same belief structure and maybe not the same routine, but yeah. similar. I like to walk and reflect. I don't think about the list of things I have on my walk or in my swim. Uh -huh. I know they exist. And then through the walk or through the swim, certain things start making sense. Certain yeah. barriers become unblocked. Then you're right. You get back, and the, the fingers just do the work. So I'm yeah. I I think I'm living my healthy self, and it sounds like you're there as well. Where we're not thinking about the exact list, but since we're outside thinking, the list will happen. Is that fair to say? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, that's exactly how it works. My so guess, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm going to tie this into a, a topic we wanted to talk about: infinite data stream. So mm -hmm. there's a few, there's a lot there, right? So we want to say, let's, let's create an infinite data stream. This is something that we see that, that Tesla is doing and others. It's just kind of like the human brain. It's just like we're always thinking and processing, always in thinking and processing. Correct. I just would love to get your thoughts on, on this, this concept of an infinite data stream or like mm -hmm. standard cog cognition, you know, as we're trying to create a pipeline, maybe even with retail data, right? So like, how are Absolutely. you thinking about it? Yeah, that's that's a good point. Let me. There's a lot there. Let, let, <laughs> let, let, let me start from a little bit of background. So uh, I worked with quite a lot of aspects, mostly scientific oriented. So from the I oscillated from uh, physics, mathematics, biology, uh, uh, naval interest, industry, and always I was looking for some clue and. The clue was mathematics at the end uh, on the back. But a few years ago, four years ago, I even found the clue that goes beyond mathematics, which is intelligence. Okay. okay. And uh, I knew nothing about intelligence. I can tell you uh, four years ago, intelligence as a concept and uh, the, one of the substrate of intelligence is artificial intelligence. So, okay. and I decided, okay, I need to go there because I think that's the only thing that always was interesting to me in all of the aspects, because I, I lost interest in doing biology after some time when I understood that you have to simply memorize a lot of stuff. Okay. <laughs> uh, I switch off uh, of mathematics because it seems to me too detached from reality. And I think what embrace all the complexity of the environment, because there is no definition of intelligence, but one definition from uh, 
I like. Uh, it comes from uh, Francois Cholet. It's capacity to generalize over the environment you have. Okay, so capacity to understand, comprehend the environment we live in. Okay, so that's that's an intelligence. So I'd like to end. There is a narrow task uh, that's getting me traced back to standard cognition, uh, store environment. There is some structure in this environment. It's not the complete chaos, okay? But there's still a part of a chaos at the same time. So you cannot solve it with the rigorous logic, this problem, okay? So you have to generalize. You have to be, you have to understand that this is a box rotated some degrees, okay? But it's the same box, okay? Yeah. So you have some some fuzzy, let's say, transition between a perfect state when everything is defined in complete chaos, so there is where the life happens, okay? Life is the, the middle state between the, let's say, complete zero entropy and complete uh, uh, infinite entropy when there is a complete chaos, okay? So that's intelligence where it happens. Okay, so that's my view. I don't know what the answer to your question. Well, I, I think there's where well, there's there's threads here that I, I'm enjoying that we got to because it's you're not the first. I've I've spoken to so many mm -hmm. data enthusiasts or data scientists, data engineers, yeah. you pick it, that have jumped from problem to problem, from sector to sector. Mm -hmm. right? And I think it's the the curiosity has gotten you to like biology, and then there is the everyone has their own reason, but you yeah. get to a point and there's just a more exciting problem you want to work on. And sometimes that problem is not in your sector, right? You know, yeah. sometimes, and why I bring that up, you know, as we mentor younger students coming into the sector, it always concerns me about what they study in college. They're spending a lot of money to study a specific something in college. And then two years later, there's the hot new, then there's the hot new. So being a very broad strokes, there was, you know, a hundred years ago, there was, you know, a web designer major you could have in college to be web design. Now it's, you know, uh -huh. GoDaddy, you could build a website, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> or like, uh -huh. so just imagine everyone that's spending money to learn Python at college. Well, now you could do it on Coursera. So I, I'm always yeah. torn with your journey where there is some expense that you need to put to bet on yourself through education. Yeah. And then three, four years later, there is a new tech. So you're like, good, you have the fundamentals, but like what you majored in doesn't matter. This is not about you. I'm just talking mm -hmm. about strokes. But yeah. when I overlay your journey, there was probably some money you spent in education that you're like, yeah, they don't do that anymore. Yeah. You know, English, math, yes, we need. But some of these other data things, are, you know, they just concern me. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I wouldn't say that I completely was clear my where i'm heading uh since the beginning no it, it's completely uh, so I, I was attracted by some nice and colorful things uh, yeah. at some at some time in the past i really i don't know maybe it's very hard deviation but maybe not uh, i was interested in the uh, studies of the scholars of ancient christianity it's uh, from mm -hmm. 17th to 900 and uh, when they were reading bible and they were interpreting what actually is written in the bible okay, okay. and there is one chapter when they're talking about beauty and uh, how we can be distracted by beauty okay and that's very exactly the topic we are talking. So humans, we always was and always will be distracted by some of the <laughs> screens and nice and uh, distracted by uh, beauty. It's beautiful. It is. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It is a beautiful line, and it's something everyone can relate to. But, and but I agree. on the same on the same point, there is I can re recall the. Dirac's phrase that when he was asked uh, how he actually developed math, he at the, by the end of uh, his his life he said he as 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 you know he was a uh, very um, perfectionist so he was trying to understand math so math is a logic process for him when he started and by the end of the life he said okay there is no logic there is a path <laughs> path to beauty so if this this structure seems beautiful to him. I embrace it. Okay. I, I go I that it. way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's great. No, I, yeah. No, I, I, um, 
there's a lot here. I mean, and um, the way you think, the way you articulate, it's it's refreshing, and I can understand some of the readings on how you think. And there is a tremendous amount of loneliness that is happening in in my life and others' life with the self isolation, the work from home. I correct. Of course, I speak to coworkers. I speak to local people, but. As I say, this is this is a true treat for me, and I always think maybe I needed this more than anybody else. But I now have a new friend, a new story mm-hmm. I could share at my dinner table, and some a friend who lives in a city I've not been to. So this okay. again is a big treat for me. So I just want this to say thank you for like you know putting a little sparkle in the day because these days you don't so you don't even know what day it is. So and yeah. so thank you. Thank you, Daryl. Actually, uh, I would share mine as well. Yeah, uh, I we we really I, I really started value from the different. That's what changed in my life. Like from the different angle, my every physical meetup that I will have, I, I'm having that, like uh, with right. my coworkers. Yeah, that's completely a different experience. Yeah, exactly. It's, and it's it's we know those coworkers, right? So it's it's. But this is this is as exciting as bumping into you at the at yeah. the, at the airport lounge or at a show where you just have that quick conversation that is just like that was memorable. That's what we yeah. ask. So, um, yeah, I right. appreciate you being on on the show. And there are people that we'd love to connect you with. Is there a sector? Is there a type of study? Like, who can I? Because that's part of this community is a little bit of connection. So, yeah, like, what are you thinking about? Really appreciate any work in the artificial intelligence, and uh, okay. I wouldn't say I'm really how to say. It. Yeah, I, I do spend a lot of thinking on these aspects. So I'd like to talk to share. They can be. I, I, my approach, as you understand, I'm coming from, I'm stepping from the scientific aspects, but I wouldn't mind to talk with the more distant people, like coming even from the religious aspects or spiritual. Uh, I do have a friend, he's a theoretical physicist. He's practicing uh, psychedelics wow. before he's, he's, he's doing it. And he said that, helps to generate ideas like it really helps to him yeah yeah well I, i'm gonna uh, let me go that's a good ask i'm gonna go hunt that and i appreciate you asking for that um yeah yeah that's gonna be well there there'll be people introduced to and they'll all be kind they'll all be nice and they'll all be thoughtful as far as the other stuff yeah. i i think we can get there so this was a this was a joy for me Igor, mm-hmm. thanks for being on the show uh we're Thank sponsored you, Darren. yeah Thank we're sponsored by pandio and they're launching some new uh, cool open source tools. So I'll also connect you with Pandio to mess around with some open source. I heard about Pandio, but I don't remember what's their service. Yeah, thank yep. you. And I'll connect mm-hmm. you with that team. That'd be great. All right, Igor. Okay. Thank you, my man. Stay safe thank you, and stay healthy. You got stay my Stay safe, you too. Same. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.